we appeared in open court earlier today to talk about with the court the recent competency evaluation that came back in the case of the King Supers shooter. In the second court ordered competency evaluation, the doctor, who's a widely respected expert, found the shooter to be incompetent to stand trial, which means at this point in time, he's incompetent to stand trial. This is actually the third evaluation that he's had. He was evaluated by a defense expert, then he was evaluated by two doctors from the state hospital, and then he was most recently evaluated by a doctor who we helped select, who the prosecutors helped to select. All four of those doctors, over the past three months, have determined that he's incompetent to stand trial currently. So we have determined that the best course of action is to have him sent to the state hospital in Pueblo, where he can be medicated and treated and brought back to restoration so that he can stand trial and face full responsibility for the charges. For preliminary hearing and proof evident presumption, great. He is, Your Honor. What's the people's position on the request for us? We will be filing additional charges in the next couple weeks. The people have not received any discovery yet from law enforcement. The defense hasn't received any discovery, so the people have no objection to the defendant's request. I will say with all four doctors reaching the same conclusion, and in particular this most recent evaluation being an incredibly thorough and detailed report, that I believe the best course of action at this time in order to ensure justice is done is to have him sent to the state hospital as quickly as possible and restored to competency so we can get him back here and move forward with the case. What can I can tell you that I'm glad he's going to Pueblo because that's where he's going to get the treatment he needs to get back here so we can move forward with the case as quickly as possible. And based on the latest evaluation from the doctor, I'm confident that he'll be restored to competency, yes. That through medication and treatment, as I talked about in court earlier, that he'll be returned to competency and able to face responsibility for the crimes he committed on March 22nd.